Hi everyone, just want to talk a little bit about getting back to doing what we all love, flying when this lockdown is over and doing it safely. We're all pretty rusty at the moment, we can use the BJ currency calculator to give us an idea of how rusty we might be. This tool's linked at the bottom of this video. Um, after the last lockdown we uh, gathered some stats which we thought might tell us something about how rusty people were. The profile of accidents was fairly similar actually. Um, we probably did about half the amount of flying that we normally do and there's probably about half the number of accidents. However, a high proportion of those accidents resulted in serious injury and in fact there were three spinning accidents, maybe four depending on the outcome of the inquiry. Spinning always suggests to me a high workload. So how can we avoid that high workload then in the future? Well, we can do a bit of reading, we can get ourselves in the right mindset for, for, starting, the flying, uh, for starting flying. And we can do that now. Have a read, for instance, uh, the BJ Managing Flying Risk document. That's a culmination of many, many years of gliding safety information. It might be a bit dry, but um, there is some really good stuff in there. So have a read of that. There's loads of other safety information on the BJ website. Again, linked at the bottom of this video. Um, you can fly with an instructor. Obviously, instructors need to get themselves back current as well. Um, but if you fly with an instructor, it's not necessarily a panacea. Um, we do get some people flying with an instructor, getting checked out, and then they go off and perhaps have an accident you know, a couple of flights later. It's easy to be led into a false sense of security having been kind of checked out by an instructor. Remember, you're still rusty, take your time, do things carefully. And on that subject of taking your time, give yourself that time. You can't just arrive at the club, rig the glider in 20 minutes, push it online and get on with life the way it was before. You might, it might feel like you can, but I certainly tried that last time and I made all sorts of mistakes, fortunately on the ground, which led me to think I've got to be careful here, just slow down, take your time and, uh, and think about things a bit more. Plan the flight, think through the challenges, so I don't know, maybe there's a crosswind, maybe um, there's not many fields at this time of the year. Have a think about those, those challenges. Try and think through the parts of the flight, even if it's just a circuit. Think through what you're going to do at the top of the launch, which way you're going to turn. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a crosswind, so I'm going to turn upwind to search for lift off, you know, whatever. But please just, just give a few seconds to thinking about what you're going to do on this flight. And on that subject, actually, sit in the glider and re-familiarise yourself with where all the knobs and switches are. Um, again, we're just getting ourselves into the, into the right mindset for flight. Check your licence requirements. Lots of us are flying on licences now, so make sure you're within the 90 day room, uh, rule, the rolling recency and all that kind of stuff. Keep it simple. Keep your plan simple. Make sure you don't fly when there's a roaring gale, in the rain, and keep your ambitions reasonable, um, which is kind of related to some of the other stuff that we've been talking about. Once you get flying, you can be led into a false sense of security. You'll probably be able to fly perfectly well. Flying is like kind of riding a bike. But the problem will come when things get difficult, when you fly yourself into a corner, when you have a launch failure or something like that. So try and avoid those situations if you can by doing some of the things that we discussed on the last slide. So to round up then. Plan your flight and plan your return to flight by reading some stuff before, before you, uh, you contemplate that. Keep it simple, don't fly in the thunderstorm there and make and take your time. I hope this has been useful and I really hope I'll see some of you guys out on, uh, out on the airfield at some stage. Bye.